So peaceful up here. It's hard to imagine the chaos erupting all over the world right now. Focus, Ray. Look for another resonance device. It's gotta be here somewhere. So I'm not Jimmy anymore? Eh, you earned it. I don't see it. What if we're wrong? Don't worry. We'll find them. Hi, guys. Uh, stay where you are. Do you see now? Do you understand? Ed, what the hell is going on? Resonance. They never cared about Resonance. They used me. And now all this? Using Resonance for mass destruction. It's exactly what I promised Dr. Morales I wouldn't let happen. I couldn't see it coming. I couldn't stop it. But I can stop them, at least. Stop who? The Eleven Foundation. Antivorta. It must be destroyed. Why? Why Antivorta? What makes some computer worth all this? You really have no idea what Antivorta is, do you? Then educate me. Right now, Antivorta is just one single computer in the low-profile office below us. But if the Eleven Foundation has their way, that one mainframe will be the hub of a worldwide array of supercomputers that track... Well, everything. Everywhere you go, everything you do, you leave an electronic trail. Phone calls, emails, text messages, blog posts, tweets, GPS data from your car, your cell phone, our entire personality. It's all out there. Networked, consumable, predictable, controllable by them. There's no way that would fly. Such a thing would never be legal. You really believe that? Didn't you see the news? With that kind of fear to ride on, Antivorta will have the blessing of every government on the planet. That's what they want. That's why they wanted the resonance devices. They told me they would use it to help people, but they lied to me. Gee, I wonder what that feels like. Shut up, Ray! Don't you think I know what I've done? They used me to get this far, but they aren't getting any further. When I found out what they were doing, I stole a set of resonance devices for myself. Resonance started this, and now it's the only thing left that can stop it. I've already set the timer, so just sit tight for a few minutes. And as soon as the devices have warmed up, the resonance particles will take care of the rest. So, what happens now? Well... In just a few moments, this timer will run out, and the resonance devices I've placed will wipe this Antivorta system from existence. Without their hub and all the data they'd already built up, Antivorta will be crippled. It'll set them back years. It gives us time to reveal to the world that the Eleven Foundation was behind these attacks. We can stop them for good. Stay where you are, Detective. I mean it. We, Ed? There's no we up here. You're the one holding my gun. You put all this emotion, 
You can justify your actions all night long, but you're still murdering scum to me. That's close enough. There are innocent people down in that hospital. Sick people, injured people. If you set off a resonance blast, won't you kill them too? I took measurements. I've done my best to minimize the area of effects to just the Antifor to mainframe. Done your best? You mean you're not sure? I've done my best. So if more people die, they're just more acceptable losses. Yes. Bennett, if you take one more step, I will shoot you. Don't you see the irony here? Of me using resonance as a weapon when I keep praising its potential for peace? Yes, I see the contradiction. But any good that Resonance could do for the world would be completely overshadowed if Antivorta is allowed to exist. And once this is done, I'll start again, and I'll make sure it's done right. I, I still have Dr. Morales' notes. I just need a lab and a team. You're dreaming, Eddings. And for your information, that is not what irony means. You're delusional. Antivorta is one office with bad lighting guarded by the dimmest receptionist I've ever seen. And you expect me to believe the Eleven Foundation are spearheading some Orwellian nightmare? Yes, Ray! They are hiding in plain sight, and in a hospital, no less. And you barely scratched the thing's surface. Once they've started mass-producing mainframes, it'll be too late. They used resonance to make this happen. Now I'm going to use it to stop them. Very, very soon. Time's up. Turn them off, Ed. There's gotta be another way. What? What is that? Senators, members of Congress, and the men and women of the United States of America. Like all of you, I woke up this morning facing a different world. A world where those who hate life and freedom can execute mass acts of terror on a truly global scale. And like you, I could only ask myself, why? Why did a thing like this have to happen? And who? Who could have done this? And what? What do I do now? I wish I had answers for you. I wish I could understand the hearts and minds of the ones who did this. But I can tell you this. The one thing we cannot do is nothing. So this morning, under the unanimous approval of both houses of Congress, I signed into law a new anti-terrorist measure called Antivorta. It goes into effect immediately, and I urge world leaders to adopt the program as well. We will stand fast, and we will stand strong. And rest assured, we will do everything in our power to keep America and the world safe. It's about time. Sorry. I was at a cyber cafe all night typing this article up, but then... 
Did you post it to your site yet? No. I've got it right here. Just need to hit send on my phone. But I got a call this morning. I got it too. It doesn't change anything. He said he would have our names cleared. Let us go back to our lives. Yeah, wasn't that nice of him. I especially liked the part where he said they'd find us and destroy us if we told anyone what we know. Forget Amul. Post the article. Bennett, it reads like a conspiracy theory blog. It sounds nuts, and there's nothing but a blurry security camera photo to back it all up. But it gets the word out there. And since Congress ran through Ant of Order this morning, our window is quickly closing on that. Okay, it's a long shot, but it's better than nothing, right? Did we do the right thing? We stopped the murderer from killing again. But if we had just let him blow up Auntie Vorta... Who knows how many people in that hospital would have died? Do you think that's what Anna would have wanted? She wouldn't have wanted us to kill Ed, either. He didn't give us any other choice. Are you gonna call it quits now, and go back to whatever life you got left? Or are you gonna publish the article, Ray? <laughs>